Hello out there to another Zarelli broadcast in which we're discussing with Jana how to get better, how to get you better. Um, just briefly back to who we are, Zarelli. We are a very innovative tight company. So the best tights out there right now are from us. So if you want to buy the best tights, you need to buy Zarelli tights, obviously. Um, let me just briefly introduce Jana. Jana is obviously one of the best dancers of our time, best ballerinas of our time. And we wanted to have her to explain about pirouettes because not only is she one of the best ballerinas right now, but she has been winning a lot of competitions. I don't think there's any dancer out there that won that many competitions as she did. That means she had to deliver pirouettes over and over again. So she is a very good turner, and she's a very good turner under pressure, which is very remarkable. And she will give us a little bit of insights of how she did that. So that is one thing. The other thing that we want to do is, of course, we want to connect with you people out there. And you have been asking us questions about all sorts of things. And these questions will be answered going forward by the wonderful dancers that are working with us uh, at Zarelli which is, for example, Jana Salenko, or next week, Lauren Lovett, um, and so on and so on. Let me just briefly introduce myself. I'm the CEO of Zarelli, and I've been a dancer myself. I, the last position I had was a soloist dancer with San Francisco Ballet, so I was never even close to being as good as Jana Salenko, um, but I know a little bit about dance myself. Let's go first, before we do the periods with Jana, let's go to the questions that you guys have been asking. The first question is, I'm curious to know how to get higher side extensions, like exercises to hold it longer. And the question came from Ballerina Anna 14. Jana, could you answer this? Yes. Hi, Anna. Yeah, uh, sure, I can show you exercises to get the higher legs, but important to have a stronger leg, uh, center leg and uh, higher leg. So uh, I always doing like um, uh, during the bar I'm always stretching stretching and just to hold my leg like that just simply like this and uh, more longer you hold more stronger this will get it yeah. very impressive <laughs> very impressive this of course takes years and years yeah. And you're one of the best in the world, so if it doesn't happen immediately like it does to Jana, you're still pretty good, most likely, because, again, she is one of the best out there. Another question came from Zoe Husky, and she asked, how do you stay in shape? You are so toned and gorgeous. <laughs> so that's a compliment, but maybe you can also answer that. Uh, thank you for this compliment. Of course, it's a, it's a hard work to, to be on shape and uh, looking good. You always, uh, I'm always take care about uh, what I'm eating, what I'm um, like uh, my exercise. So I'm always uh, work. I, I do always something. I, I I love swim. I love running. I do extra extra exercise, but with a lot of uh, performance and a lot of uh, uh, like rehearsing. I think you, you, I'm getting faster on shape and uh, it's my body. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Can I ask then a follow-up question? If you say, well, you're running a little bit and you're exercising, and but the main thing is dancing. How much of this would be dancing? Could you say in percentage, like 90% is dancing and 10% the other stuff? Or is it actually more that you do other stuff than dancing? Uh, of course, uh, dancing is more important because uh, you, um, you, because if you do more sport, it's uh, growing different muscle. And uh, I will take care about uh, what I'm doing, what, uh, which exercises. Uh, mostly I do like a flow bar, I'm doing on the floor just to put uh, everything together and muscle, and stomach and body like a simple, like a yoga, <laughs> like that. Okay. Do you have another one? So do you do this kind of plank position? Do you have another position like this that you could show people out there to stay in shape? Uh, 
for uh, exercise that you do? I, I love uh, my favorite is just uh, this one muscle. You like to hold it stronger, and you you do this way. Uh huh. And it's uh, make it stronger. Bump. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, I love uh, stomach muscle, and I, I do so many exercises. And I, I, I do this one too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And it seems to work. So <laughs> very good. So Zoe Husky, keep that in mind. Those are very potent exercises. Yeah. Now let's go to the well. Actually, let's let's go one step back. All these things that you see here, you see Liana perform and 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 in amazing pictures. Go to her Instagram, go to her YouTube, go to her Facebook. Connect with her. She is a very open person, and we at Zara really love her. And of course, also follow us because we also post a lot of things. Ho hopefully, that will educate you guys out there. So now let's go in two turns. Again, Jana is one of the best out there. Maybe you can explain a little bit about Schönes for the younger ones, then building two piques, two pirouettes, maybe even fuetes. Maybe you can uh, explain a little bit about all these sorts of turns. Uh, yeah, when you start turns, it's uh, mostly in the class, in the middle class, you turn it. So you, you are warm, your body warm. And uh, it's very compact. It should be everything controlling and compact. Like a simple chenet. Just uh, Beautiful. Uh, for me, it's, um, uh, it's helping to, to feel leg, center leg, like uh, back legs, and their arms. So if you control your arm and the legs, you get a speed. speed. Uh -huh. Interesting. And could you give some tips about piques, pique turns? For pique turns, uh, I would say in beginning, like in school, you're learning, you just uh, pique and you put a uh, weight on the one leg. It's uh, the same coordination and then you put it away weight on the leg. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a step by step. Of course, you build your uh, balance and you know where best to find a way to do it. Very nice. Very good. And would you tell people to always build up and just step on it or would you tell people to immediately try to turn as well? Uh, no, uh, I would uh, tell more to balance, to find that your balance. It's not important to how many, how many periods you do, and important quality, and uh, it's important for your body. If you do quality, then it's your body healthy. So, mm -hmm. important to, to do right way. Got it. And how about pirouette? So, for the older ones that start doing pirouette exercises, what do you think is a good pirouette exercise, and, and what are things that you think about when you do pirouettes? Um, for me, I, I, I just build my uh, muscle. Uh, more important to have a strong muscle on the feet. And I, I do the exercises this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's helpful for the fuites and for the relieve, and it's strong ankle. Because mm -hmm. really you, you can twist, you can, something happen. So it's important to have a strong uh, feet. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, of course you, you start, you, like uh, in the school, you start, you just place your balance and then you do it. Place your balance and you do it. And then you do just a one, do it. One, and do it. And then you do two periods and then three periods. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what happens in live broadcast. I think it's fine. It's Got it. Mm -hmm. And if you then want to do many pirouettes, 
What, what do you think about when you do many pirouettes? Is there something that you think about your spot or your arms in particular, or do you not think about anything? No, of course I'm thinking, because if you don't think, you can so easily lose uh, control and you fly away. So before period, I'm just concentrate uh, what I want to do and uh, do a, I ask spot one point, and uh, I'm open my arms and then I'm control my center leg. So and for me, important is to finish period. So doesn't matter two, three period and finish. Mm -hmm. So it's for me important. <laughs> mm -hmm. Finish. Nice. Easy. Very good. That's exciting. That's exciting when somebody has such good technique that it comes that easy. <laughs> yeah. So, sometimes you need like a before show, sometimes it doesn't work. And I'm trying to concentrate and I'm, I do my best. I try to find it, uh, good shoes for period and I'm, I'm trying again and again. Then I feel, when I feel good, that it will work, then I'm <laughs> Come. Mm -hmm. That's super advice, I think. That's super advice. So there is days for you as well where you're not feeling immediately good, and you always you keep working, keep working until you got it right, and then you go on stage. I think that's that's interesting because I think when people out there see somebody as perfect as you are, they think, okay, well, I have bad days. She never has bad days, but you say, no, I have bad days too, but I overcome them. So I think, you know, willpower, I think that's very interesting. Yeah, and every day you come in, it's like a new day. And for me, it's the same. You start from beginning, you place your body, you place. If it's for me, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. I'm not get really upset. I'm just, okay, tomorrow will be better. And just keep doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. And how about fuetes? What do you think about when you get to fuetes? And very often also you're very tired by the time you get to fuetes because it's at the end of a puddle. Yes. What I'm thinking, um, uh, of course the same, to concentrate in the spot, to feel my arms, to, to feel the center and going just up, just up. And I just don't think about uh, extra. Sometimes the uh, music help to do it. Mm -hmm. like, sometimes, uh, like Don Q or uh, Swan Lake, so you, you have a camp, and with camp you, you do it easier. Got it. And what are exercises that you would do to build your, your fuetes? Uh, fuetes are the same. You, you, you would stay next to bar, and you just do like that. And uh, sometimes without bar. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I I, I know you you're not as warm as you usually would be for footies, so I leave it up to you if you want to show some footies or not. If not, there is lots of footies also out there in our social media and your social media. Up to you. Uh, yeah, I can show. <laughs> your machine. Very good. <laughs> Very good. It's exciting. This is exciting stuff. So I think I think people out there learned a lot. One last question for me is also here. In Fuetes, you have bright light coming at you on stage. You have black in front of you because the audience is just pitch black. How because you were discussing or previously explaining about the spot and the importance of the spot. Where do you spot in these moments? Yeah, sometimes I'm spot in the front of, of public. If I see like a red spot in front, if I don't see in front, then I'm just spotting down, like on the floor. And then I'm watching like on the floor and there was orchestra. Sometimes I'm doing, it's make me like a bit uh, concentrate of my body. Because when it's everything like a live music and public and people and screaming, so sometimes you, you're just losing. And mm -hmm. in this moment, because it's technique, you need just concentrate on your own body. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that's almost like meditation, it sounds. <laughs> it's true. So, I mean, that was very interesting. And the periods that you did were just fantastic, just out of nowhere. Now, the two last questions also from the audience that I think we should ask, uh, answer, are from Anok871. I would like to know her diet. So what is your diet? Um, I try. I, I make it my diet, my own diet. I try evening don't eat, like heavy food, meat or... I try eat salad. I love salad and I love uh, healthy food. So uh, best to all day eat healthy food and in evening try not eat. Okay. This is the best, I think. Okay, got it. But you do eat, obviously, and but the most important part is healthy. That's good to know. Because I think, honestly speaking, there's movies out there and a lot of people are having the perception of people shouldn't eat or dancers shouldn't eat. So that not is not the case really at all. No, no. I, I find it because it's your body, you're all different and you, you need to find it your way of your body. Because, uh, like, okay, I have a fat leg, so that's it. Then I love my fat legs. <laughs> so you, I think you should be uh, positive for everything and to be healthy and to work because you, you have a power to work. When you don't have a power, and you, you just uh, you don't want anything. Now, last question comes from Itza Kamachod. How can I improve my interpretation when I have to act for a certain role? What do you do to build roles? Juliet, princess, whatever it is. Yeah, uh, acting for me, it's, uh, I love acting. And uh, I think I'm mostly, I'm thinking by myself at home, sometimes anytime when I'm free. And I, I build my own, uh, like a Juliet or Giselle or Swan Lake. Uh, like to get better, you, you just must be believe it in yourself and just to come on stage and you are this uh, in the role, so it must be like one second you in into this role and you just go out and then you're out of the role. So for me, it's important to be in in the role. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now I know that m there's different approaches. Some say if I, for example, don't read enough about this role, then I can't create it. Others say. If I read too much about a role, it doesn't become me in this role, but it becomes I'm becoming somebody else, and it's it's not authentic enough. Are you somebody that researches a lot outside, or are you more researching inside of you? How would you feel? Uh, of course, I like to watch other people. I like to watch uh, movies. I like to watch. Uh, uh, I can read and to make it more information of. For me, it's uh, built uh, your own personality. I think it's not bad to, to have a more idea about other people, what they do. Because of stage and acting, it's different. Uh, because of stage, you need extra, extra arms, extra emotion. And uh, I think it's a different way of dancing. And you need to learn this. Like, And you, you can learn from other people, from old people like old videos and sometimes I'm watching old videos and it's amazing how they feel, how they present themselves. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. I think that's very good advice. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for today. We have learned a lot about periods. We have answered all the audience questions. If you have more audience questions, just send them over to us. We will make sure one of these star dancers out there will answer them. And if they're particular for Jana, for example, we will make sure that she gets them. Again, follow us. Uh, last not least, if you try all these things, if you try, for example, these periods, and you try them over and over and over, we have exactly what you need in terms of tights. That's why we created this company, so that when you do periods, 30 times in a row, and that's a lot of strength on your body. You can use Z1, which gives you a lot of support, and the next day you will recover faster. Now, Jana is a lot on stage as well. She wants to look just the best she can, which is our Z2, um, catering to that. And Z3 is for the recovery, 
which also Jana uses um, for fly or mainly uses even for flying a lot. So yeah, play with our tights if you if you work a lot, if you work hard, if you want to improve quickly, then you need to take the best you can in, in all aspects. Like Jana said, get the best people to to look at for your roles. Eat healthy and of course try to get the best gear that you can. Yeah. So yeah. Last not least, follow us, follow Jana, and next time tune in when Lauren Lovett is going to be with us. She's a principal with New York City Ballet, and she's going to be talking about mentality, about mental health, about building confidence throughout your career because you, you will need it if you want to be a star dancer, like, for example, Jana Salenko. And that's, that's it for me for now. And thank you so much, Jana. Thank you. I wish you all the best, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.